It was harvest time on the island of Sodor, and all the engines were busy delivering their loads to market. One morning, Bradley and Beverly, the bakery trucks, were in the yard with Willie when the fat controller came to see them. Willie, Toby wants to borrow you to take some apples, carrots and turnips to market. Yes, sir, said Willie. Then the fat controller turned to Bradley and Beverly. No, you two, he said. I have a special for you. I would like you to work with Thomas on a bakery special. Bradley and Beverly were very excited. Thank you, sir, they cheer. We'll deliver the fresh baked bread Soda will ever know. I'm glad to hear that, laughed the fat controller. Then Thomas arrived to take Bradley and Beverly to the Sodor Bakery. They collected some fresh bread and they puffed along the branch line delivery bread to every shop and market at every station. Bradley and Beverly were enjoying themselves and everybody cheered for Thomas and the bakery truck and they called them the Bakery Express. Thomas, Bradley and Beverly loved the idea very much. Then they saw a bread van pulled up to collect the bread. Bradley and Beverly watched as they loaded the bread into the van. These bread vans take the bread to every house by road, so everyone can have toast for breakfast, explained Thomas. They are very friendly. They sure are, beamed the bakery trucks. They didn't know until one day Thomas arrived at Farquhar and saw one of the baker drivers standing by the line. He wasn't very friendly at all. He was very rude and had an awful temper. What took you so long? he snapped. I always arrived on time, puffed Thomas. Pa! Just load the bread into my van, scoffed the baker driver. Once his van was loaded, he drove away. What a rude man, thought Bradley. I know, agreed Beverly. The baker driver only just dumped the bread on the doorstep and drove off, leaving all of his customers cross and complaining. But he doesn't care. Customers do nothing but mow, mow and mow rumbled to himself. The next morning, Thomas and the bakery trucks were at the village station dropping off some fresh bread for the village store. Then they heard a noise coming towards them. Oh dear, sounds like somebody's got a car problem, thought Beverly. And she was right. But they saw what it was. It was the bread van with the rude baker driver. It was just driven onto the level crossing when its engine coughed and spluttered and stopped. The baker driver was annoyed. Now I will have to go and find a telephone box and call for some help, he muttered to himself. He climbed down and walked away. Wait! Come back! cried Thomas. But the baker driver was out of earshot. Then Thomas heard a whistle. It was Lady. She was bringing stone trucks from the quarry. Oh no! wailed Thomas. Lady, look out! called Bradley and Beverly. Lady gasped when she saw the bread van on the line in front of her. Oh! she exclaimed. Her driver applied the brakes. But it was too late. No one was hurt, 
but Lady's buffers was bent, and the bread van was battered and damaged. Are you all right, Lady? called Thomas. I think so, said Lady. The fat controller arrived to expect the damage. The baker driver was furious. This clumsy engine had wrecked my van, he snapped. Well, this would never have happened if you haven't left your van on the track, said the fat controller. Somebody could have had a nasty accident. And on top of that, he added, I have some complaint about you being unpleasant to your customers by giving them the wrong order. I will have a word with the bakery later. The baker driver walked sulkily away. The fat controller went over to Lady. I'm really sorry, sir, said Lady nervously. Don't worry, Lady, said the fat controller. It wasn't your fault. But you do need to go to the engine works to have your buffers checked. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir, said Lady. The next day, Thomas and the bakery trucks were at Napa Station delivering bread. Everybody cheered for the Bakery Express. Then Lady arrived back from the engine works. How are you feeling, Lady? asked Thomas. I'm all right. Thank you, Thomas, puffed Lady. Then they saw the bread van with the new baker driver. He was very friendly and was learning how to deliver to the right houses. Bradley and Beverly liked him better than the grumpy one. They were wondering where he is now. He had been taken to a factory helping unloading empty cardboard boxes as his punishment until he had learned about being nice to his customers and learned to always follow the rules about the customers is always right. <laughs>